Today, we're taking my turbocharged heavyweight Silverado to the races, and we're facing off against some pretty unique cars, including an Ariel Atom, a twin-turbo Coyote Mustang, a supercharged ZL1 Camaro, and a handful of other turbocharged and supercharged cars and trucks. And believe it or not, today the ugly truck actually held its own. Now, thanks to a recent conversion to E85, we are cranking out way more power than we ever have out of my junkyard big block. But there's always that question in the back of my mind, is today finally gonna be the day that the 8.1 lets go? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's go roll racing. like we are paired up with an F-150 for round number one. I uh, can't tell if it's an EcoBoost or a Coyote, but we'll find out. in the can everything went really well um, we took home the win against the f-150 again no idea what was done to that truck but the main thing I wanted to do with my first pass is just take a data log and make sure everything was safe which everything is looking spot on uh, we're running 18 and a half degrees of timing which is a little more than we did before I can still put a little more in it if I want uh, boost wise we're about 17 and a half um, no spark knock we're using 85 percent of our injectors uh, fuel pressure looks great so I'm really happy with the truck so far so let's keep on racing So now we got a rematch against that Ram Charger back there. Um, I roll raced him last time when we were having all those traction problems. He definitely beat me that time. Um, so we got better traction and more horsepower this time. But I talked to him this morning. He also added more horsepower. So who knows what will happen. But that's why roll racing is so much fun. against the Ram Charger. I was like a little bit ahead of him when we started. Um, so we're just gonna rerun it, see what happens. Woo, that was close. All 
Adrian Silverado. Uh, same exact thing. Last time he beat me. Um, so maybe we'll take it this time. No idea, but I'm having fun today. Ugly Truck is doing great. It's loving the 85 life. Um, almost 20 pounds of boost, like 18 or so. So we're doing great. Much closer this time. Alrighty guys, so I feel kind of silly because the last couple runs I was doing, I messed up on the tune. I actually made the knock sensor more sensitive, so it was pulling more timing than I wanted it to be. So uh, this time, we're kind of going all out. Like I have the boost controller literally cranked as far as it possibly will go. And we have like not a lot of timing. We're like 18 and a half, 19 degrees of timing. So, uh, and I turned off the knock sensor. Don't try this at home, but um, if there ever was such a thing as a full send, this is it. guys there's something weird going on with the truck not a mechanical issue i don't think um i just raced a supercharged cody mustang and he walked away from me rightfully so but the truck felt down on power um i there was like no one in front of us so i kind of botched the launch um i didn't have enough time to get my two-step engaged but it still felt slower than it was in previous runs and like check this out i'm looking at my timing and right no that's injector oh right here the timing it's seven and a half degrees of spark but um it's not pulling from knock retard it's not pulling from burst mount it's not pulling from torque management and if you look up here um the coolant temp is 192 so it shouldn't be pulling from there and my intake air temps are only 127 so i have no idea why it's pulling away spark um if i come over to my uh, spark table it's commanding you know 18 17 degrees of spark so um should have been a lot quicker i'm going to do a little bit of research and maybe fix the problem uh but mechanically the a1 is still holding up wonderfully all right so i figured out the what for some reason it was running on the low octane timing table no idea why because it wasn't showing any knock but uh, i fixed that i simply copied and pasted my high octane table and the low octane table not the safest thing to do not a smart idea but hey we're racing so i'm gonna go try to make one more hit all right guys ariel adam if you know anything about really lightweight cars you'll know that that's one of them i probably should turn this camera that way because i think that's where he's gonna be truck's doing good that little thing is quick but he didn't walk away from me too bad so i am happy
Yes! Finally we're doing good! We just, I think, I think, I'm not positive, I think we just barely beat that ZL1 Camaro. Beautiful. Alrighty guys, the ugly truck is running like amazingly. I think we're like at 20 pounds of boost, uh, which is way more than I thought this 8.1 would ever take. We just made two consecutive passes with all the timing that I've commanded it to run. So we're finally running like it should. And we just, I think we barely beat him, but we kept up with a ZL1 Camaro. Now it's it's stock. He has like a cold air kit on there. So it's not like a really modified one, but that race was neck and neck. I started pulling him on the end and I am so pumped with how the ugly truck is running right now. Like this is the most successful day of roll racing we've had. Yeah, a few hic hiccups in the middle trying to figure out the tune, but once we got the timing where it's supposed to be this truck is running amazingly i should have done an e85 ages ago all right so i think this is gonna be my final run of the day um this is sort of a rematch for me it's against the twin turbo coyote mach one uh but i actually raced this guy a year ago when he had a big block nac10 so um his car definitely has got a lot more power on me but what the heck we're racing we're leaving it all on the line ugly truck it's doing awesome. Alrighty guys, I would call that a successful day of racing. Uh, we did not blow the truck up and it ran faster than it ever has before. So win-win in my book. We actually won, I don't even know how many we did, but we won a few more races than we did last time, which is awesome. Um, a lot of fast cars here, which just means we have our work cut out for us. But remember, we got that 535 big block that is waiting in the wings almost ready to be assembled so anyway uh, thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed this video check out another one of mine when i went down to ls fest with the copo truck we kicked some butt especially in the speed stop challenge with that so go watch another video if you don't mind thank you guys come back soon